I'm Becky from ReadMyChickenScratch.com and I was just wanting to show you all today how easy it is to install these little nipple waterers into pretty much anything you'd like to make a waterer for your chickens that will not get dirty. Chickens get water dirty. If you don't have them yet, you'll find out. Um, you can put them in a five gallon bucket like this. See? And the water will drip out when they peck it. Um, one suggestion is that if you're going to use a five gallon bucket like this, have something, a brick, a block, something that you can set down to set the bucket on top of so that you're not setting it right on those nipples. Um, just a suggestion, my husband, Mr. Fixit, and Jay Bear, my son, they can tote these five gallon buckets all over the place, but I cannot. <laughs> I have to have a place to sit it while I fill it. Um, so, what I'm going to be putting one in today is this generic Pedialyte bottle. Um, I like these because, well, I have a bunch of them. My daughter uses this stuff periodically. And um, also, it's a good heavy plastic. I don't have to worry about the chickens pecking it and doing some damage. I don't have to worry about, I'm going to put a wire through the top. I don't have to worry about the weight of the water pulling and making it tear through the plastic. Um, you can try this with just you know a water bottle or a two liter bottle or something like that but I like these heavier plastic ones so let's get started I have got a drill here with a small drill bit I don't even know what size it is the size isn't important what I'm gonna do with this is drill some holes on this end to put the wire through to hang it and um, what you want to do is kind of it doesn't have to be perfect. If it had to be perfect, I would have a Sharpie out here figuring out the best placement. But I'm just putting it maybe half an inch from the bottom of the bottle in the center. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Very simple. Anybody can do it. I'm not great with tools, but I just did it. Um, now, the hole in this end for the nipple to go into, you need to make it with an 11 30 seconds drill bit. And that can be a little difficult to find. Mr. Fixit has every tool on the planet in his shop, so I didn't have to worry about that. But you might have to go to a couple of different places to find one. Um, and also verify before you go all over that that is the size that you need for the nipple waters that you buy. That is the size you need for most of them. The ones that look like this, that's the size you need. Um, now if you're like me, I'm not real handy with tools. This is easy enough that even I can do it. But I like to put a pilot hole in with my small drill bit before I go for the big one. I have a tendency to like the drill skitters off to the side. It just, you know, prevents you from doing any big damage with a big drill bit if you just put a little hole in with a little drill bit first. So, I'm just going to put a hole right in the center of this cap with a small drill bit. It takes a little pressure and a little time. Just be patient and there it goes through. Okay, now we're going to go through that same hole with this bigger drill size. <laughs> We're just going to drill straight through that lid again. There it goes. The process is the same for a bucket. At this point, what you're wanting to do is make sure that your hole that you made is really just as clean and smooth as possible. Mr. Fixit says that if your hole is not clean and smooth, you might have a problem with leaking. If your hole is not as smooth as you want it to be, you can use some of the silicone sealant. Put it around the hole before you put the nipple in. It'll seal everything up. No problems. Excuse me, I've got some allergies going on. Um, 
Now, also, it, if you put this out, if you, if you get it put together and you put it out in the chicken coop and you notice at some point that it's leaking at all, you can do the same thing. You can take the nipple out, use the silicone sealant around it, put it back in, it'll seal it all up and you won't have any more problems with it. If you have it smoothed out well, it will not leak on you. Well, I can't promise that it will not leak on you, but it's never leaked on us. So I'm going to use this exacto knife and just clean up just a little bit around this hole just to make it just as smooth as possible like that and then you um, take the nipple you screw it into the cap or whatever you're using. It doesn't have to be a cap. And put it back on the bottle just to give myself a little something to hang on to. Once you've got that tight to your fingers, you can use this. It is a 15 millimeter yeah, socket you know that normally you would put on a wrench you don't have to for this because you're just using it for a little extra grip to grab hold of that nipple and twist it in now this part right there that nipple is where the silicone is touching both sides it's touching the nipple it's touching the lid i'm going to make it just a little tighter than that to keep it from leaking so i'm going to just Give it an extra turn and then look at it. Give it an extra turn and then look at it. One more. Okay. Now at this point, I can see that the, the little ring, the silicone ring that they have in there to seal, it's getting smushed and it's squishing out the edges just a little bit. That's what I want. I want it smushed just, a little, just enough that it is a real good seal. Once you've done that, you're water is complete you can just fill it up with some water and I have to bring some with me now put your fingers over the holes that you drilled to put your wire through if you don't you can end up with water in your lap I've done it <laughs> okay so you just pour a little water in here you want to take it not so full that it's going to be over those holes when you flip it upside down. So what I do is on this type of a bottle, I fill it up, you know, more than three quarters, but definitely not full, at least a couple of inches, maybe an inch from the top since your holes are about half an inch from the bottom. Okay, once you have that done, you screw this in, flip it over. All right, I touched the nipple so it leaked just a little bit, so I'm shaking it off so that you can see. Okay, you see there's no water coming out. It's not leaking. And what will happen is your chickens will come up, they'll peck this, you see that? A little water drips out. Just enough to get a nice little drink. You want to have, say, um, one nipple per four chickens or so. You could probably get away with a few less than that as long as it's not the middle of the scorching hot summer. When it gets that hot, I always put extra water out for my chickens anyway. Um, you don't want anybody not to be able to get to water at any time. But really, um, I've got one nipple per three chickens. And it works out really well and I've never honestly seen chickens just clamoring around it. They come, they get their drink and they go away and honestly one per three chickens is probably overkill. If you're reading the blog that this video is attached to, you are one lucky person. If you're reading the blog that this video is attached to on the day it's posted, even luckier. I'm doing a giveaway. You can have five of these nipples for free. 
all you have to do is win my contest. So check the bottom of the blog. You'll see a few different ways that you can enter. Enter, enter, enter. Win some nipples for free. Cheap water. Thank you for coming to read my Chicken Scratch. I really appreciate you taking the time to read my little blog.